In this video, we're going over 10 common problems on an air conditioner. If a central air conditioning system's not turning on, even though you have the thermostat properly set for it, and just nothing's happening, I've got 10 common problems that could be the issue, along with one bonus tip at the end in order for you to solve the problem. Problem number one is the door is not secured to the furnace, and there's a door switch to make sure that the door is in place securely. And that could be opening up the electrical circuit for the gas furnace and air conditioning system. So that could be the problem. Problem number two is that the emergency electrical disconnect switch for the air handler or the gas furnace could be in the off position. And that could have just got bumped by somebody just moving storage items into the area. But the other thing is you may find one of these that were incorrectly installed, so upside down. So if you were to flip this up, it actually still says off, even though the face plate says that it's on. So you want to pay more attention to the actual switch itself. Problem number three is that you could have a breaker in the off position accidentally turned off, or maybe it tripped due to a problem, or at the outdoor disconnect, especially on an outdoor package unit, you could have fuses that are blown in the actual unit. And so these fuses could be bad, that could be due to a lightning strike, or it could be due to equipment failure and a direct short. Problem number four is you could have something as simple as a clogged condensate line, and so this is going to break the electrical power going to the thermostat. So it doesn't matter what you do at the thermostat, it's still not gonna turn the air conditioner on if this is tripped on the inside. So if there's water that is rising in here and has tripped this switch because the line is clogged, it's gonna break the electrical switch, and in this case, there's a little LED light, so make sure you look out for something like that. You could also have something like this installed in the condensate pan, and this could break the electrical switch. As well, there's other versions of these as well, so these are all referred to as condensate safety switches. So make sure you check out your primary pan and your secondary pan for any water. As far as cleaning out the trap, it's pretty simple, and so you can just push a brush down into the trap just like this, and you can pull it right through in order to clean out the bottom. So this is typically where you're having a clog or a improperly pitched section of the line. And so you need to support that and have it pitched downwards a quarter inch of pitch per foot until it exits the building where the condensate is draining at. And so you could have a trap like this. You could clean it out with compressed air or just blowing through the tube in order to try to push this downstream. You could vacuum it out or push it out with the, the exhaust from a shop vac as far as pushing it out, or you could suck it out with the uh, negative pressure or the suction of the vacuum. Now make sure to fill this up with water and make sure that this properly drains before you turn the unit back on again. Number five could be that you just have low batteries in your thermostat. In this case, you can see this little flashing thing. I don't know if you can actually make it out or not, but it is flashing low batteries and so if you have low batteries the switching mechanism on the inside is not going to be strong enough to close the electrical contacts between the r wire so that r wire and the air conditioning wire which is the yellow wire now r connects to also to g which is g is the fan wire and so it's just not strong enough of a connection in order to make the the switch electrically close inside the thermostat so make sure you have good quality batteries so what you're going to do is you're going to remove the faceplate and you're going to look inside to see what kind of batteries I typically use Duracell batteries. Problem number six could be that you just have a bad thermostat face and it's pretty easy to diagnose this. So what you do is you just remove the face and you don't have to test this. You can just bypass it. And so if the air conditioning is not turning on when you have this installed, and you have it on cooling and the temperature is set down low, it's not turning on. And then you remove it and you jump from R to Y, your R is your power, and Y is your air conditioning wire. So if you touch those together, then your air conditioning system should turn on, or at least your outdoor unit. So some indoor units may not turn on because the thermostat's job is to connect R to both Y and G during air conditioning mode. And so the other thing you could do is you could just jump from R to G as well, make sure that the indoor fan turns on. If you have both of those things running when you bypass the thermostat, then you know that the thermostat face is the issue and you need to replace it. Problem number seven could be that you have a bad thermostat wire connecting from the thermostat to the furnace or the air handler or the package unit. And so you could have a wire staple that's squishing and cutting the wire. You could have a weed whacker that has cut the wire or you could have even a mouse that has chewed through the wire. And so what we can do is we can bypass the thermostat wire in order to see if the system will still turn on and that gives us an indication of if it's not turning on, 
when we have the thermostat in the, say the on position and in cooling mode and we press the temperature down real low, it's just not coming on at all. But then when we bypass both the thermostat and the thermostat wire, and we go to the indoor control board and we jump it out here and it does turn on, then that tells us we have a problem with our thermostat wire or the thermostat face. And so what you can do is, is take the cover off of the furnace or the air handler, and if it has a door switch, you're gonna have to temporarily close that and you're gonna jump from R to Y. And so remember R is your power wire coming off of your control board, that's your 24 volt power, and Y is your air conditioning wire. So your indoor fan and your outdoor condensing unit should both turn on. You could also check from R to G just to see if the indoor fan turns on. So if it does, then you know you have a problem with your just your wiring, your control for the user that needs to be replaced or fixed. Problem number eight is that you could have bad settings in your Nest thermostat some Wi-Fi thermostat, this happens a lot, where somebody just replaces the thermostat and maybe it works during heating season and an air conditioning season comes and all of a sudden it's not working. And so you wanna check to make sure that you have the proper settings. It's, if it's a heat pump or if it's a gas furnace and air conditioning system, or if it's an air handler with electric resistance heat, you know, you have to set that in the thermostat itself in order for the thermostat to know which wires to connect. And so that could be your issue. Problem number nine could be that you have a bad 24 volt fuse. So this fuse is protecting the control board from any a problem in your thermostat wire, such as a mouse chewing and then two wires touching each other. And so it's also protecting the transformer in case of any direct short, so it's not burning it out. You know, that same thing can happen if you squish the thermostat wire. And so you'll see on this, this fuse, a burn spot right in the middle and that indicates that that fuse has blown. And so I have a whole nother video on how to troubleshoot and in order to uh, basically quickly troubleshoot, you basically divide the system into parts in order to troubleshoot it. So make sure you check out that video and I have that link down in the description section below. But this happens a lot when you have a mechanical thermostat and the mechanical thermostat is not digital. So it's not like it's blank or anything. And so you think the power's still on, but you have a blown fuse due to some problem in your thermostat wiring. So in order to find this fuse, I just want you to know where it's at. It's inside the, the indoor air handler or the furnace or the outdoor package unit at the control board. And you may not have this type of fuse. And so the, the purple ones are three amp and these light yellow ones, those are five amp. And so you gotta replace it with the same amperage fuse in order to protect the system. You could also have a cylinder type fuse which will be uh, found protected in a little case like this. And this will be on older systems. Problem number 10 could be a bad capacitor. And so if your indoor blower motor is not running, like nothing's turning on and you don't hear the outdoor unit running, it could just be a bad capacitor at the indoor blower motor. Now at the outdoor unit, you could also have a bad start capacitor. That's a black one like this. You could have a, a bad run capacitor, a dual run like this, where all of the dielectric fluid has leaked out. So it may be obvious like that, or it may be obvious when you see a little mushroom like this, but it may not be obvious. And so that's when you have to test the capacitor and have another video on how to do that down in the description section below. Another tip could be that your indoor blower motor may not require a capacitor. It may be an ECM blower motor. And there's several versions of the ECM blower motor. There's two major ones, such as the variable speed blower motor. And then there's also a constant torque or multi-speed ECM blower motor. So the first thing is to identify which one's what and then diagnose that blower motor in order to see if that's the problem or if it's the control board that's the problem and just even trying to determine, hey, am I getting a signal from my thermostat to the indoor control board? And so if you have this in air conditioning mode, you should have 24 volts between your yellow and your common wire on your control board. So if your thermostat is calling for air conditioning, you can check it at the indoor furnace or the air handler by measuring it with a multimeter between your Y and the C terminal to see if you have 24 volts. And that should tell the system to turn the air conditioning system on. But once again, you may have a bad indoor blower motor or bad capacitor for the regular PSE blower motor. You may have a bad capacitor at the outdoor unit. 
and you just may not be getting the signal at all to your unit in order to even turn on. So you gotta know how to diagnose those things and I have several videos down in the description section below on blower motors, capacitors, thermostat troubleshooting, and a lot more. We also have our articles over at our website at acservicetech.com, so make sure you check all those out. We also have our refrigerant charging and service procedures for air conditioning book. We have a thousand question workbook with a self-study guide. We also have quick reference cards that you can use out in the field. And so these resources are available over on our website at acservicetech.com and also on Amazon. And so I hope they've helped. I hope the videos have helped and hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.